Hey everyone, this is Akobo with a quick tutorial on using cameras and some helpful tips. You can read more about this in the description, but let's get started. So, when you're moving around and working in your views, you're actually looking through a camera, and that is your uh, perspective camera that we're looking through. Um, and yeah, often this can work well. Um, but I find when I line up my shots that I generally want to create a new camera and sometimes you can even use uh, these new cameras to help you in your modeling workflow so when you do camera there's three different ones um, camera what we're looking through right now the perspective is just a camera to access that um, we can go to panels here and look through selected and now we're looking through this camera you can also go panels, perspective, and choose camera one. And we can go over to the outliner and name it. And you can see our perspective is here. And there's also sort of cameras for all your other views that are created. And you can see this camera that's created. And you can see it moving around and stuff like that. Um, anyways, so yeah, it's just sort of a default camera. Uh, let me jump back into my perspective. You can see it over there. Um, and um, you can also have a camera with an aim. And what this will do is the camera will always look at this point. So let's say we create like a cylinder. And yeah, let's jump through into this camera one, we're always sort of looking at that same point and we can actually from our perspective, you can see it's always kind of pointing at that same spot. We can move around where the camera is pointing. So this can be really handy if you're um, trying to have the camera look at something specifically. Um, yeah, you can have it kind of like moving around. You can hit the S key to set keyframes on everything. You can also go in and right click and do key selected and set that. So you can have it kind of spinning around. If it's just spinning around in an exact curve, I would recommend just creating a curve like this. And then you can either um, do your animation menu and attach it to the path so it moves around once you want it doing multiple times you can actually just attach it to the path and then rotate it around and it can go around as many times as you want so this can be really handy having this aim that you can point it wherever you want and you can also move the camera they're sort of separate but anyways um, let me go on and then with the up it's very similar um, camera and you can point it um, with this you can also sort of um, set what up is so you can rotate it around like that which can be handy um, so yeah I generally recommend when I'm rendering with something creating a brand new camera and then I can sort of use my perspective to change stuff to sort of lock something down anyways so Let's say I had this kind of set up, like I created a new camera. I could go over to my outliner, I've added this to my shelf. Yeah, and just name this final shot. And go through that, I can just look through selected and frame it up. Um, depending on your resolution, this will kind of show you what's in so you know exactly what is going to be in the frame. Um, there's a whole bunch of other settings that I won't cover quite yet. I can make another tutorial if you're interested in like the image gate which kind of cuts stuff off if it gets too far away. I, get, I guess this is set pretty far but it kind of clipping panes and stuff like that. Anyways, but let's say I'm setting this up and I've got it set up like this and then I'm like well I want to tweak this Vertice and oops, dang it, I didn't want to do that because one of my cameras set up just the way it is. Well, what you can do is you can go through the bracket keys 
and those will actually go backwards or forwards. And you can see it saves quite a few. So that can really help you out um, moving <laughs> with moving your camera around. I'm going to jump back into my perspective. What you can also do is, you know, go into the attributes. If you want to just um, <clears throat> set the whole time, you can lock it. And then when you go into it, um, final shot, you see you can't move around. Um, or you, I, you can rotate it since I didn't lock those, but you can't actually move it in any direction. I could lock rotation too if I want it just staying completely still, and that'll make it um, so it is unable to move. Um, something else that's really handy, let's say I don't want these locked. Um, is you can just go over and unlock them is bookmarks um, so that's under view bookmarks and you can go in and select this and then do bookmarks edit bookmark and then do new bookmark camera view one sounds fine uh, apply then let's say you're moving it around but you want to be able to get back to there then if we do view bookmarks you actually have this here actually I need to be inside of that um, and let me see view um, yeah, actually create it, for, it actually creates it for the camera you're in, so selecting won't do that, which is a good lesson. So I can create a new one for this and apply it. Then I can move all around. Um, and I go, go to camera view 2 just to where I set it, so um, it can set it for multiple ones, so you, you can have different cameras in different positions you have set up. Um, that, that can actually be really handy. You can have a whole bunch, let's say if you're working on a big structure and you want it really close in on something rather than having to frame that up every time. You can just navigate through bookmarks, you can save positions for animating and yeah that's just some basics on camera. I can do some more on using camera but hopefully this tutorial will make it so you never find yourself saying, oh I I wish I could find that camera angle or whoops I didn't mean to get in there and move it around because I had it set up the exact way I wanted especially if you have like image planes and you're matching it to a shot um, that can be very very important to set that up correctly well let me know if you have any requests or any other questions or want me to do some more camera stuff I was just trying to give you a quick thing to help you out um, but yeah Send me a message. This is Akobo signing out.